Greetings, Elmwood Hawks. I'm Mr. Ramos, Assistant Principal of Student Affairs, and I'm here to talk about some cafeteria procedures. First thing we're going to talk about is this awesome microwave. If you've got hot food or you brought food from home, this microwave is available for anyone that's in the cafeteria. All you've got to do is simply open the thing up and put in how long you want to do it, and that's going to be how you warm up your food. Next thing we're going to be talking about is the lunch lines. There's six lunch lines that are going to be uh, at each pole. At each pole, you'll have two lines. Students are expected to line up in an orderly fashion and not skip the line or move straight to the front without a pass. Let's go inside and meet Chef Pam. Hey guys, I'm Chef Pam. Welcome back to school. Another great year ahead of us. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting and seeing all y'all in here. We got some great lunch ladies. Their names are gonna be on their registers. Please come in, greet them, they'll greet you. I ask that you please be courteous in line, be courteous to my staff. They're gonna be courteous back to you. We got some great food cooked up back here for you. So we're looking forward to all y'all coming in, saying hi, getting back into the groove of school. If you have any questions, any concerns, any requests, please find me, I'll be happy to help you out. Um, I ask y'all to keep the volume down in the rooms when you're getting your business done. Get your food, get out there and enjoy your lunch. Enjoy your breakfast, come and see me. Looking forward to it. Let's have a great year, Hawks. All right, Hawks, we just talked about the cafeteria staff, cafeteria lines, and procedures for entering the lunch line. Now. We have two bathrooms that you can use. At any point throughout your lunch experience, you can use those bathrooms. However, you cannot use other bathrooms. The only bathrooms that you're able to use during lunch are these two bathrooms. Flaming Hot Cheetos! Who doesn't love Flaming Hot Cheetos? I don't. But this is our vending machine. We've got several vending machines that you can use at lunch. The vending machines are exclusively for lunch. You can't leave class to go to a vending machine. Now, the vending machines have a disclaimer uh, on most of them with a number to call if the vending machine steals your money. Armwood High School is not responsible for lost or stolen money from these vending machines. Use at your own risk. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Who's holding the bag? If you are, we've got a Suncoast Branch bank on campus right here, right next to this awesome ATM. This ATM dispenses money uh, for any student that needs it in increments of a dollar. Make sure you got the account and don't get overdrawn. Welcome to Armwood's Cafeteria Patio. As you can see, we've got about 12 tables here for you to enjoy this hot, humid Florida weather. <laughs> Feel free to come out here with a hoodie and long pants. Another very important thing is that you cannot leave campus to go get food at Hardee's or at Subway or at Martha's. Don't even think about it. Mm. Dornish, Grubhub, Uber Eats. Great, great companies that bring us delicious food. They're not allowed here. Because if they are brought here, I, Hicks, we get to eat it. Mm. All right, Hawks. This is our check-in for lunch attention and work detail. What we're gonna be doing is we're going to be uh, checking students in as you come into the lunchroom. So if you've been assigned work detail or lunch detention. All right, I'm gonna have to start this again. This is our check-in station for lunch detention and work detail. When you get assigned lunch attention and work detail, you'll receive a pass during third period to report here. At that point, you'll check in with our deans, Ms. Leisel and Coach Hicks for lunch attention. Ms. Leisel will give you a pass to go to the front of the line. You'll go directly to line six, get your lunch, and report immediately to your lunch attention station. So for work detail, you'll also receive the pass during third period. At that point, you'll check in once you come into the cafeteria. We'll do it again. For, for work detail, you'll check in at the same spot. You'll receive your pass during third period. At that point, you'll check in here, and then you'll be assigned a vest, and you'll be assigned an area to work in the cafeteria as a work detail for one half of your lunch. For those of you that think you're gonna skip lunch detention, you're wrong. We are taking attendance in every assigned room that we are assigning detention. Failure to, re to report to your assigned lunch detention room will result in suspension. Letting you know up front, go to lunch detention. Oh, we'll find you. We'll find you. 